This is something I need to address. As you can tell by the title of the video, I have been accused of damaging, destroying, f***ing up a fan's car. What? I got a little dude in my hand. <laughs> He's so cool. Guys, we've settled on a name for him. His name's Paris. London, the English Bulldog. Paris, the French Bulldog. Pretty obvious. Why am I holding this little guy, you ask? Well, first of all, he's fucking cute as But second of all, we are taking him for some shots. And London needs to get a couple of shots, too. London, are you ready for your shots? Nope. London, that was rude. London. Good girl, that's a good girl. Dude, you're so cute. You really are so goddamn cute. <laughs> you guys are so goddamn cute. Alyssa's still uh, in bed. Alyssa, we have to leave in like uh, five minutes. Alyssa, Alyssa. So yeah, guys, that's been my morning so far. Rugrat's gonna be here any minute. By the way, he's kind of come for a few. That thing's weird, that Alexa thing. Rugrat's gonna be here any minute. He's staying with us for a few days. Maybe even longer than a few days, I don't know. But I'll pick the camera back up when he's here. There's that range, baby. There's that f***ing range, baby. What up, homie? How you doing? Good, good. I can't dap you up right now, but I can give you this. Yes, please. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, what's his name? Paris. Paris. Yes. London, the English Bulldog. Paris, the French Bulldog. Wait, they're not the same dog? <laughs> no. Wait, London's an English Bulldog. Yeah, jeez. <laughs> he's a Frenchie. That's awesome. <gasps> Dude, how cute is he? He's so cute. Wait, we actually have to take them to get their 25K? shots. Yeah, he's a $25,000 bulldog. Dude, I'm holding a $25,000 dog. It's right actually f dude, it's actually f And guys, I did see a lot of comments like, why would you ever pay $25,000 for a bulldog? First of all, these things are called once in a blue moon French bulldogs. Color pattern he has, the tri-color with that really, really nice, like, light brown and the gray and stuff. He's beautiful. And um, their bloodline only exists in China now. I'm pretty sure Ty and Kylie got one of these guys no and paid a ton of money for them too. It just is what it is, you know? It's like CSGO skin. Right? Oh yeah. <laughs> and to be honest, I didn't pay for <laughs> retail price for the dude. That's why Bully Rotsies, that's where I got them from. They hooked it up with the homie price. They're the fucking homies and they have the best bulldogs in the fucking city. He's just a good dog. You guys understand that? So keep talking shit in the comments. I'll come at you guys. <laughs> so we're running late as usual. We got one doggy and where's the other dog? Alyssa, where's the other dog? Oh, there he is. You got him a pink bag. Yeah. Get, your ass, get your ass in the I'm car. Not sexist. Get your ass in the car. You get your ass in the car. I know my dog and he wants black. Paris, are you excited for your vet visit? Oh, it's gonna be okay, don't worry. Yes, you can have a treat after. I'm gonna raise no bitch. Hey, my little boy is growing up. And my little girl, oh, she's kinda already there. I have the f***ing cutest dogs in the world, hands down. How's it going, baby? Looks like you got your hands full. <laughs> Hi. London's day. Baby, calm down. It's okay. Oh. Good girl, London. Good girl. Good girl. Good, good boy, it's okay, you're good. Well, you guys did it. Taking you out for ice cream now. <laughs> Paris, what did you think about your first vet visit? Paris! So what did you think about your vet visit? How were the shots? Oh, that's a good girl. That's a good girl, smart girl. Then we talked to our dogs. So what? So what? The puppies did such a good job, are you proud? I'm so proud of I really babies. am so proud, I'm so happy that we went and did that. And Rugrats here, I'm really excited about that. We're gonna go out, do some shit. I wanna have an eventful day. Yeah, we'll drop them off, we'll link up with the squad, and then we'll go do some fun shit. See you guys there. Back from the vet, baby girls all dolled up. We're gonna go shit up in the city with the homie, Lil Ruggy. My son being my son, you know, I'm all yadded up. Homie got a tattoo, show him the tattoo. You wanna see the tattoo? Pull down your pants and let me see that peepee. -pee. Is it allowed to be on YouTube? Yeah, bro. A penis tattoo? Yep, let me see your peepee. -pee. Yeah. That is so dope. <laughs> it's peeling right now. It's actually dope. You like it? Yeah, I love yeah, it. It's the same one. <laughs> yeah. right. Shout out to the Rugrats. Shout out to the motherfucking Rugrats. I really like Paris. Like, I'm starting to like, kind of like him more than London because he's so little and agile and you can just throw him. Alyssa, catch him. <laughs> Baby. Good catch, man. Thanks, Batman. We're gonna go out, shit up. I don't know. We'll see where the day takes us. I'll see you guys there. Hey, what's up? Did you have any mail for me? I don't know. Let me check real quick. Oh, yeah, you have some. There it is. Thanks, brother. Yeah, so uh, we're actually gonna be going to play some mini golf with Rugrat, my girl. It's gonna be fucking dope. They're driving the drop top, raindrop, drop top. So we're heading there in the Rug Rover. It's gonna be fun. I'm gonna make Rugrat do some dumb shit, so stay tuned for that. I'll catch you guys when we're at the golf course. So yeah, guys, we're here right now with the squad. Let's get it going. Let's get it going. You guys are going down. You guys are all going down. Well, well, well. Looks like I got a fucking hole in one on the first. Dude, right away, the first exact try. You got it. What? Yeah, I jinxed it, but you started off with a hole in one. Mitch, you're going down, homie. I'm away. You're going down, homie. Yo, loser has to jump in the... Nikon will be the loser, so... Facts, facts. Oh! 
Oh! Oh. Don't botch it, Mitch. Oh. My girlfriend's awesome. She's distracting the competition for me. Great girl. Money. I think I'm in the lead, I'm and you two are fighting for a second right now. Full one, Rich. Easy. Nope. Easy hole in one. Oh. Dude, that was insane. What is this, number two? Yeah. Dude, how? Oh, this bitch is getting so bad. <laughs> this is four, right? Yeah. Even, that, even if you weren't there. Four. There you go, bitch. This is my third one right here. There you go, Nikon. Oh shit. This is what kids used to do before they Four. Were Alright guys, so the scores are in. <laughs> and I won by a lot. My score was like 35 yeah, we or got something. Destroyed. We got and they both actually we both tied, tied for a second. What they should we do? Up. What should we do though? It feels good to be the best, baby. Are you happy that you're in love with winner? See you up sad music right there. Da, da. All right, so me and Rugrat actually, this golf course is haunted. Dude, this is crazy. This golf course is haunted. We just found it a haunted. I found it a haunted house. We need course. to explore it. Dude, go, go. You gotta explore it, Rugrat. Go inside, dude. Oh, it's locked. Dude. Oh my god, did you hear that? Dude, come here. Oh my god. Dude, you're gonna have to crawl in there. You're the only one small enough to do it. Rugrat, you're literally in a haunted house right now. Yo, I'm getting Dude, we gotta get out of here. We gotta get out of here, Rugger. Come on. Dude, hurry, come here. Come on. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, so we just got done doing uh, you guys like that Casey Nice that shit or what? Yeah. Yes, yeah. He's been that. doing it all day. <laughs> <laughs> It's literally all I've been doing. I just tried to do this thing. I literally just ordered a cheeseburger just so I could like sit the camera in front of the ketchup thing and squirt it in front of it. Completely f***ing failed. It's probably not even in the video. Actually, you know what? T-Wop, roll the clip. So yeah, like I said, the ketchup had actually ran out. So we used mustard. Fun day, fun day. My battery's about to die. So we're going to catch you guys back at the crib. What is wrong, you little stink face? You are a little stink face. I just genuinely, like, I just don't fuck with you anymore. That pissed you off. All right, let's just go back to the crib. <laughs> do you love me? Of course I do. You love me? Hey! Ooh, that pissed you off. <laughs> All right, we're back at the house. It was a really fun day. I really want to do that thing with Rugrat, and I think I'm going to. Rugrat and Mitch are both going to try to pick up some milk, some moms, some older women. We're going to tell them that they're like 16 years old, like 16 year old picks up mom thing. I think that'll be a f***ing really funny video. And if this video right here, it's 200,000 likes, 200,000 likes, we'll we will be making that video and that video will be coming up. So 200,000 likes and I'll bring you guys that video. If it doesn't, I just won't. I'm not sure if you guys will like those kinds of videos. Those like Nelt style videos. I don't know if you guys know who those guys are. Just those out in public, just like prank videos. I'm not gonna make like prank videos consistently, but once in a while, you have a funny original idea. I know it's not exactly original, but with Mitch and Rugrat, I think it'll bring like some flavor to it and I think it'll be really funny. But yeah guys, fun day. But on a more serious note, I really need to talk to you guys about something. This shit is not cool. I'm done around with this shit. So I'm taking measures to stop it. I know you guys don't know what I'm talking about right now, but you will right now. I'm gonna go sit down, set the camera up. You guys will see me right now. Okay, guys. So, this is something I need to address. As you can tell by the title of the video, I have been accused of damaging, destroying, f***ing up a fan's car. And when you first hear about that, you go, wow, Banks, what a f***ing dickhead. What an asshole. And if you have no other context to the story, you that's what you might think, and that's what you might think forever. So, the reason why I have a problem with this, because that is simply not what happened, okay? But before I say anything else, I'm going to refer you guys to the clip shown on DJ Keemstar and Scarce's channels. I'm gonna roll that now. Take the mic. Or go, or go, or drive, drive. Drive. I had to record. Hey, go, go, go. Drive. drive. Fuck out of here. Drive. Okay. Drive, drive, drive. Drive. And again, if that's all you see, you might think, wow, Banks, a little bit of an overreaction, don't you think? No, okay? I'm gonna give context to the story, and I'm gonna explain exactly why I think what I did was not only just, but I think it was the right thing to do. I think it was the exact thing those kids needed, and that's what I think every kid like these people needed. And they weren't kids. These kids were like 18, 19 years old, maybe 20 years old. I don't know. And again, these kids were not fans. They were not our fans. Your fans don't do this shit to you. Your fans don't put you through this shit. Your fans don't go to your house with the intention of catching you doing something wrong. I'm gonna address the situation that I'm gonna 
address a, a couple other comments. First of all, I just like to say 99% of people in Keemstar and Scarce in my tweets comments were completely on my side. Thank you. I love you. You're awesome. And you're not fucking stupid. That's what I love about my fans. You guys aren't stupid. You guys actually have a brain. You guys actually have the ability to relax, kind of analyze the situation, process what's going on, and then come to a conclusion for yourselves, which is awesome. I'm blessed for that. I love you guys for that. Those of you who don't have that part of your brain, just please leave. Honestly, please leave. By the end of this explanation, if you guys are still against me in this situation, just please leave. I honestly don't want you here. Okay, so to give you guys some context, these kids were outside of our house for over an hour, honking on the f***ing horn. I have neighbors, okay? You know, I have neighbors. You know, we paid a shit ton of money for this house, and I'm gonna enjoy it, okay? I'm going to enjoy it. These kids were sitting outside of the house for an hour, honking on their horn. I have neighbors. We don't want to hear that. Yelling shit out their car. Like, we are surrounded by neighbors. Our neighbors don't f*** with that. We obviously don't f*** that. Went outside, politely asked them to leave the first time. They didn't do anything except record. Came back inside. They kept doing it. Let it go on for like 20 minutes. This is when I got mad. You don't come to someone's house recording me. Clearly, you want me to do something. Clearly, you want Rice to do something. Clearly, you want to catch some sort of clip of us f***ing up. Problem is, I don't give a f***, okay? I'm going to address this later on, but I act exactly the way that I act on camera, off camera. And that's honestly rare. For YouTubers, that's just rare. It's just my style. It's who I am. It's impossible for me not to be like that, okay? And I just don't give a f***. I see a camera. It doesn't stop me from doing anything. I'm going to address the situation exactly how I would in real life. You're not scaring me with a camera. You're not going to deter me away from handling the situation how I think it should be handled. And in this situation, I felt that the second time I came out, I should be a little bit more aggressive with them. So it started with me saying, yo, can you guys get the f*** out of here? Like, you guys need to leave. To which their response was, exposed, exposed, you f***. Pussy exposed. Kids are calling me a pussy and they're saying exposed. So exposed. That's what you're here for. That's when it clicked in my head. That's what these kids are here for. They're here to try to catch us slipping. They're here to try to just start shit with us. You come to my house, the only place in the world that is mine, and you just want to push me. And you want to push rice. And you want to push Alyssa. And these guys, they don't understand how to deal with this stuff. They hate it. They probably hate it more than I do. And I'm the only one who has balls enough to go out there and react the way that I do. So I went out, told them to get the fuck out of here. They proceeded to record me, to expose, call me a pussy, which is pretty convenient that they left that part of the video out. I will admit, in the video, they're like, oh, Oh shit, let's leave, let's leave, let's leave. There's no context to it. You don't see anything that they're doing, but these kids were complete pricks. These kids came to the house in an aggressive way, so they were met with aggression. You see how that works? You're nice, I'm nice. You're aggressive, I'm aggressive. And I don't give a fuck if there's a camera there, and I don't care what you plan to do. I just don't. I'm probably the last person somebody wants to fuck with on this level, because I just don't care. And again, I am so blessed because my fan base, like, I feel like I do have a unique fan base in the sense that, like, you guys really do, like, have it there. Like, you guys actually do. There's a lot of people on YouTube who have the inability to reason and critically think about things and you know develop a good understanding of a situation and a pretty reasonable opinion on the matter it's pretty rare on youtube i feel like you guys got it though i really do and again i just want to address the situation don't come to my house i have now over the past couple days taken measures to make sure that this shit does not happen again we've hired 24-hour security that is going to be set up within the next couple days and these people are just straight up going to get arrested they're just straight up going to get detained and arrested period and i will still come out your car. I don't care. I really don't. You come to my house like that, that's what's gonna happen. Period. End of discussion. Two, bought a paintball gun so I can for you OG fans, I'll do a 720 tack swap off the fucking roof. I don't care. I don't care. Game winning kill cam, motherfuckers. I'm sorry. I am kind of emotional. I am pissed off. Not gonna lie, I'm pissed off. So I'm sorry for that. That vibe. I try to keep the rest of the video before a happy go lucky vibe because I didn't want the whole video to be like this. So that's why I put all that vlog footage in there before. And I just didn't want to do another sit alone video. But I have to address this shit. I have to give my side. It's impossible for me not to give my opinion on something that has everything to do with me. Like I said, 99.9% .9 of you guys were on my side. Super grateful for that. I love you guys for that. I really do. But the 0.1% that weren't, I saw a lot of them with the response of Jake Paul. Let's put Jake. Jake Paul in this position versus Banks. If Jake Paul ever did something like this, he would get crucified for it. First of all, what Jake did to me was much worse than I've almost ever seen anybody try to do to another person on YouTube ever. I'm not going to get into that. We're handling that behind the scenes again, but I will say this kid tried to rule my fucking life for no reason. And he's still back to getting all these subs every day. Whatever. Good for you, bro. You guys want to watch him? Watch him. That's completely up to everybody. Everybody's free to do whatever the fuck they want. And I'm cool with that. That's cool. But the big difference between me and Jake, and everybody already knows this, this is nothing new. Everything Jake does on camera is for the camera. He doesn't show 100% of who he is on the camera. Not even close, okay? I, however, I do. He gives off this vibe of this all-righteous, perfect dude, and I don't because I'm not an all-righteous, perfect dude. I'm not a dandelion skipping, you know, saint. I'm not. That's just not who I am. That's the image he perceives, though. So when he steps out of line and does something like this, it's like, whoa, that's not you, dude. That's not you. But this is who I am. This is just who I am. I put this out and I share this stuff with you guys on YouTube, and you guys can choose to be attracted to that and fuck with that, or you guys don't have to. It's just that simple. I respect anybody's opinion to do whatever they want. Either with me or you don't. And if you do, 
do, I love you. I really do, and I'll love you till the end. And you guys are my fucking people. You guys are my family. But if you don't, that's cool too. Do your thing. And please just don't bring that negative shit to my channel. Please don't bring that negative shit to me. And just leave me be. That's all I ask. I'm in my house. All that I ask is for you not to come to my house in a hostile way. Now, the guys, I want to make this clear too. The people who come here in a nice way, I'm the nicest person ever. I've gotten so many comments on like, dude, you are so good with your fans. And like, you're so nice. And like, it's unexpected because a lot of people aren't like that. They really just aren't on YouTube. If you're nice to me, if I can sense that you're an actual fan, then I'm nice to you. If I sense aggression or weirdness or like sketchiness, then you're going to get that other side of me. That's just how it is. I appreciate you guys all sticking up for me. I really do. When Scarce and Keem dropped the video, I tweeted a bunch of stuff about this. I mean, like I said, that's just how it's going to be dealt with. Okay. I'm going to protect what's mine and I'm not going to take shit from anybody. Period. I'm a great person. I'm a nice kid. But once you cross that line, that's it. The coin will flip and you'll go from this to this real fucking quick. That's all I have for you guys today. I really hope that's something with you guys and I really hope you can think about this stuff critically and come to a good opinion on it again I really do fucking appreciate you guys like I said I suffered in no way from this situation I just had to give my peace on this it's not fucking cool you don't do that like I'm still fired up about it I really am like what are people thinking and the Deji thing I don't know if you guys saw Deji KSI's brother somebody spray painted his car what are you guys doing why would you ever do that why are you taking your time to come fuck with somebody strictly because they're successful or because you don't like it? you're completely wasting your time you can spend that in a way more productive way and live in your own dope ass house and have your own pop and YouTube channel. But no, these people will continue to be like that. And that's why in the end, they'll be down there. Period. Guys, make good choices. Be a good person. At the end of the day, that's all that matters. Be a good dude. For all you good dudes out there, I fucking love you. Make sure you guys subscribe if you fuck with your boy. Turn on post notifications. That shit is so important. And like the video. Like I said, 200,000 likes and I'll make that video with Rugrat and Mitch picking up some moms. It'll be fun. You gotta do all that shit. No, you don't. Do whatever you want. I don't care. Like the video if you want. Do whatever you want. I love you guys so much. It's been your boy, Faze Banks. Peace the fuck. Peace the fuck. Peace.